Oh boy, do we have stuff today. Wow. Hey, what's happening guys? Today is a mishmash mailbag Monday. We got all kinds of stuff in the mail and we're going to take a look at it. This first big old box here is from a viewer from the Pittsburgh area called Respawn Restricted. And we've been trying to get together since Christmas time. Finally, I just told him to just mail this stuff to me. I don't think we're ever going to get together as long as this pandemic's going on. So let me move this box out of the way. And we'll take a look at some of the stuff that's inside. So first off, we've got a little quadcopter. Got this for Christmas. Couldn't figure it out. Okay, so we got a little quadcopter here. Very cool. I used to fly quadcopter, so maybe we can figure that out. We'll take a look at that. Ooh. Motors from VCRs. Oh, wow. Take a look at that one. That's a beauty. Wow. There's some cap stands in there. All sorts of neat stuff. Oh my, new stuff. Let's take a look what's in this bag. You might want to get yourself a, a beverage or something for this. First question, is Paul smart enough to open the bag? Yes. So these are, oh, one moment please. USB-C type connectors, solderable, very cool. Oh, dude, little switches, awesome. Yeah. Surface mount, dun dun dun. I don't surface mount. Only if I absolutely have to. 230 volt negative ion generator. Very nice. We'll play with that. Surface mount. Dun, dun, dun. LEDs. But hey, those might actually be big enough that I can solder them. Oh, wow. 50-50 white LEDs. More LEDs. LEDs. Respawn, my man. Why aren't you making cool stuff with LEDs? Fuses. Oh, little tiny JST connectors. Those look like optic couplers and transistors. Man, this is this is a gold mine. Stylus. Very nice. Oh, wait. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Mr. Buzzman. This has got a level. Stylus. Ruler. Oh, screwdriver. Dude, this is awesome. This is my new favorite thing right now. Plastic bags, excellent. Tungsten halogen lamps. You know, I have never actually played with tungsten halogen lamps. Ooh. Ooh. These might be fun. I'll have to do some research to figure out how to power them, but we'll definitely take a look at that. Wow, dude, why'd you send me such awesome stuff? I mean, I appreciate it. Wow. More USB-C connectors. Oh, little, little circuit boards. These are awesome. 
zip ties with the little labels on them. Some sort of little surface mount PCB thing jobs. Ooh, ICs. I love ICs. But I'm blind as a bat. Gonna have to get the uh the old man eyepiece out. See what these are. Hang on. Well, what this is, is a uh, 555 timers, CD4017s. I mean, that's, that's just a package of fun right there. 10 watt, 25 ohm resistors, power resistors, very nice. <laughs> Pine car formula glue. These are like, yeah, those are glue applicators. Oh, decals, Rick and Morty. Awesome. Come on, fingers. What else we got? I break for barn finds. Awesome, man. Oh, these are so cool. Search engine optimization. Oh, dude, these are, this is so cool, man. Thank you. Pin insulation foam, nice. More of these, these, these have me confused. Maybe for little fans? I'm not sure. Not a lot of them. Heat shrink, always can use heat shrink. Transistors. Some sort of little voltage regulator, I'm guessing, by the looks of it. Oh, parts is parts. We've got mounting posts, alligator clips, banana plug sockets, teensy-tiny LEDs. Man, this is a gold mine. Ooh. Stepper motor driver board. More of these. USB cables. Oh, e-cigarette pressure sensors. That might be fun to play with. Yeah, yeah. USB 16, I think. More of them circle things. Ooh, are these LEDs? Hold on. Yeah, check these out. Cobb LEDs. Okay, we're going to play with those soon. Man, that's right up my alley. We got tweezers. More of them round things. USB, nice. 18650 battery holders. Male pin headers. Alright, time for the blind as a bat thing again. Uh, um, LM317 voltage regs. Wow, very cool. Let me put all this stuff back in this bag. I can't believe I got it all back in there. But there's more. We've got capacitors. Ooh. Another negative ion generator. Very cool. wireless LAN type stuff. Neat.
This looks like some sort of a tape mechanism. Holy moly, circuit boards. FM radio, clock boards, little speaker board. Oh, dude. Oh, these are some kind of a uh, e-cigarette. Have lipo battery and charge uh, charge boards in them. He says you can find these at gas stations. Device and USB charger. Neat. Ah, some bell wire. Some heavy duty magnet wire. And electronic repair books PDF. Respawn restricted, my man. This is like Christmas in September. I can't thank you enough. Let's see if we can't uh, light up one of these bad boys. Warm white, 15 to 18 volts, 240 milliamps. Here's in here, plus, plus, minus, minus. All right, so let's set up the power supply here. Pardon me. Got to take you out of the holder for this point. All right. So, voltage. 15 to 18. We'll go for, uh, let's go for 16 volts. And amperage or current 240. That should be good, right? All right, let's put this back up here. Put you back in your holder so you're nice and safe and snug. Get our clips here. This is our minus side, our negative side. This is our positive side. And we'll power it on. Whoa! That is bright. Holy smokes. Very cool. Very cool indeed. Again, respawn restricted. You the man. I'm gonna contact you. I wanna. I wanna. Uh, I wanna send you something for all this good stuff. Maybe you need a multimeter. You know, I just happen to have a few of them sitting around. So next up, I got this box in the mail. See, wish I wish I wish to do enjoy. Anyway. They are my favorite Arduinos, Nanos, version 3, and there's five of them in this box. Oh, did you open that one? No. So, very nice. Arduino Nano is my favorite Arduino because it's so nice and small. And that is from viewer uh, Jack K. Thank you, Jack. I truly appreciate that. And finally today, from the folks at Arduino, we have the Arduino Nano Every. This is a new flavor of Arduino board. 
It is um, pin compatible with the Nano, but it has a buttload of memory. Which one of these did I slice? All right, let me get this out of here. Oops. Oops, it fell out. So this is the new Arduino Nano Every. One moment while I check some specs. Okay. So as we look here, you can see physically they're about the same size. But the Every has nothing on the bottom. And it has tessellated connectors so you can solder them directly to a PC board. It has 50% more... Um, how's that? 50% more memory right is that what it says yeah because it uses the at mega 4809 as opposed to the 328p and it has um a lot more program ram 200 percent more program ram so you can use a lot more variables the other difference it uses the uh looks like a usb-c connector let me see this is a micro micro yeah. Oh yeah, it's a micro. I don't think my computer will recognize it. Let's see what it says. It's thinking about it. It did recognize it, but it doesn't have a driver. So we'll have to install drivers, and I believe we have to do a little something to the, uh, the IDE to get it to work. But that's going to be um, probably in the next video we're going to tackle this guy. I think I've taken up enough of your time for today, but thank you for joining me. Thanks to Jack K and Respawn Restricted, and thanks to the guys over at Arduino for sending out the new Arduino Nano Every. That's going to be fun to play with. Like I said, we're going to play with that probably in our next video, and thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We're at 93,200. Trying to get to that 100,000 mark. When we do, we're going to start giving stuff away as a thank you to you. All right? That's it. I'm out. Peace.